Hello everyone. In this video, I'll be telling you how to make sand mold using uh, mat plate pattern. First of all, let us see what is mat plate pattern. Mat plate pattern is actually uh, this is drag half of the mat plate pattern. It is improvement over uh, gop and drag pattern. Uh, suppose we have to make pulleys. Uh, we require number of pulleys. Then it is very unequivocal that uh, to uh, repeat that steps of cope and drag again and again. So uh, what we will do is we uses a ga uh, will use a gated system like this uh, to uh, manufacture number of pulleys like this. This is drag half of the match plate pattern. Now I show you. Now I'll show you how we'll make a sand mold for match plate pattern. First of all, we have this mold board. What we'll do is we'll place uh, we'll place a drag on it in upside down position. Let me show you how. In this position, we'll keep this drag. Now, after this, what we'll do is we'll place the we'll place the match plate pattern in center of this drag. Let me show you how in this way. Here you can see here here it is uh, the match plate uh, drag half pattern of match plate. This way, what we'll do is first of all we'll sprinkle the facing sand over it. We'll sprinkle the facing sand over it, and after that we'll fill this area with freshly more freshly mold sand and backup sand let me show you how it will look uh, after uh, filling this it will look like this obviously in actual practice there will be extra sand that will be strike off using strike off bar. now what we'll do is we'll turn it over we'll turn it over and see this way we'll get this here it is pattern what after this we'll do we'll place the cope half of the pattern match plate pattern over this let me show you how I'll do it now as I was saying that what we'll do is we'll place the cope half of the pattern over this this we have placed cope now we'll place cope half pattern in this way now again we'll repeat the similar procedure we will sprinkle this facing sand over it and fill this uh, uh, area with freshly prepared molding sand and backup sand let me show you how to look when I'll fill it with the uh, molding freshly prepared molding sand and backup sand it will look like this now after this as we have this what we'll do is we'll cut the sprue sprue basins uh, in which will fill uh, in through which will pour the molten metal see here, here I have cut the pouring basin hole uh, pouring basin and uh, sprue hole so after this what we'll do is we'll separate off cope and track uh, portions and after that we'll remove uh, we'll remove the match plate patterns let me show you how how I'll be removing them see here I have separated the drag portion from the cope portion now using skype uh, skype will will take it out this uh, and this match plate pattern after that it will look like this now in actual practice what will be there is there will be loose sand so using bellows will blow off that losing sand from this and in the similar fashion from the cope 
will remove the cop half of the pattern and then we'll rejoin them uh, rejoin them let me show you how it will look after rejoining so finally it will look like this see when we will trying to see uh, we I was able to view the match plate pattern but now it's not there so here our sand mold is ready for match plate pattern so in this way we prepare the sand mold for match plate pattern thank you